River State Crisis. Fubora and Amechi's alliance unsettles Mwike's loyalists. The romance between the political camps of River State Governor Sim Fubara and the former Governor Chibwike Rotimi Amechi, which began pronounced since the court sacked Tony Okocha as the Ketika Committee Chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC, discussing sleepless nights for the loyalist of Barrister Yeson Wike, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. FCT. A few days ago, a River State High Court presided over by Justice Sika Akperoku in Port Harcourt had sacked Ukocha and restated Emeka Becky as the party chairman after some party members had approached the court to restate the Becky led executive, which was removed from office by the national leadership of APC, with undecided court cases, whose outcome could tight the balance of power in favor of the camps of Mwike or Fubara, the removal of Fukocha, the choice of the APC at the national level has reduced the power of Mwike's camp. Before the court's ruling, Okocha, a former chief of staff to Amechi and currently the River State representative at the Niger Data Development Commission, NDDC, has tactically backed the Honorable Martins, a morally led function, faction of the River State House of Assembly on the defection of Martins and 25 other lawmakers from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the APC, which at calm could lead to their seats being declared vacant. Hence, mm -hmm. consolidates the Honorable Victor Okojombo-led faction of the Assembly. Okocha's action had made it difficult to prove that, that defection. Although the Court of Appeal nullified the expulsion of Martins and 24 others from River State House of Assembly and clarified the issue of jurisdiction, the Court has not determined the membership status of the affected lawmakers. The Court of Appeal, by declaring that it lacked the jurisdiction to decide on the sub substantive issues, which is whether the lawmakers defected or not. The matter remains pending, awaiting a decision from the Federal High Court. The restated APC Chairman Becky claims that Amawele's and others defected to the APC threatening to sanction them for failing to attend a strategic meeting of the party. Becky also spoke in the Port Harcourt during a stakeholders meeting of the party, claimed that the Speaker of the, the Splinter House of Assembly, Honorable Martins, and other 26 of his colleagues are members of the APC. It will be recalled that a state high court sitting in Port Harcourt Monday arrested Becky as the authentic chairman of the APC in the state, sacking Chief Tony. Okocha and other members of the Ketika Committee, constituted by the national leadership of the party. Speaking at a first meeting of the leadership of the party in the state, Becky said Martins and other of his colleagues would face disciplinary action for not attending the all important meetings of their party unless they have tangible excuses for their absence. Becky said they cannot sit on the fence. They are members of this party, whether Tony Ukocha received them or I received them myself. They are members of this APC. We will find out why they refuse to attend this meeting. We will really find out. And if there is no cogent reason why they did not attend, 
we will take disciplinary action against all our members who refuse to attend. Meanwhile, Okocha has accused Amechi of plotting to fight President Bola Tinubu in 2027 with the APC, claiming that Becky is a chief of the former transportation minister, vowing that he will not allow such to happen. However, Okocha said, imagine how a person of low academic qualifications can preside over a meeting that some of us would attend, but the APC leader then said they wanted someone who had a, a street boy mentality. But the truth was that he wanted a, 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 a surrogate, a steward who would do his bidding. We fought, but the APC leader was then a minister and his vintage were here as leaders of the party. So as it is now, uh, we case loyalists, they are stuck. Honestly speaking, the other day they said in the call that they are still members of uh, PDP. So with the way things are going right now, those 24, 26 lawmakers who defected from PDP to APC, they have lost it all. So guys, this is just the beginning. The battle have just begun. Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share the video. Let it go viral. Thank you. And bye for now.